Hey guys, welcome back to the Alliance Tournament. I'm CCP Rise. I'm joined by CCP Fozzie, and I have two pieces of exciting news. One, we're about to see Hydra Reloaded versus End of Life. And two, we think we figured out what happened last match, was that, which was that... Could have easily been FOFs. Yeah. I think it was FOFs. I think that they were the golems were damped to such a low range that they were only shooting FOFs. That's why they were able to shoot everything. But then by just rotating what was closest, they controlled damage and mm -hmm. kept themselves from losing anything. So there's always an explanation. Damps are the probably the most powerful counter to a tinker team like that if you don't have um, a way to support it, uh, like a bunch of remote sensor boosters, stuff like that. And mm -hmm. yeah, um, if they got them in low enough, then that could easily be the explanation. I think so. But anyway, I we have another match. I FOFs exist. I know. <laughs> <laughs> they only show up in the tournament. so, And then even then, only rarely. Mm -hmm. Dominix is for Hydra. Not too surprising there. Versus Vexor Navy issues, which is cool. Um, Vexor Navy issue, Kronos with Damnation and Nero supporting and uh, some Damp Frigs. However, it's not going to be enough against Dominix, I don't think. Um, it's a lot of damage, uh, a lot of sentry damage, but it's not going to be enough. The Dominix are going to be able to blast the small stuff. Uh, a more common choice showing up again here. Teams not necessarily running after each other right away. Mm -hmm. Sentries dropped on both sides. Uh, Kronos still down in the middle of the arena by the looks of it. He's trying to burn up, but uh, Punisher coming down probably to uh, peel stuff away. And uh, yep. even if they get through, they have to run over that uh, sentry drone uh, stack in the middle there. So it's yeah, going to be a tough fight for end of life. Not going to be easy at all. There's a big stack of guards in the middle of the arena or right on the spot where Hydra was. Uh, Hydra is now very spread out. It's going to make chasing them down with that uh, Kronos very, very difficult. Meanwhile, they're applying a bunch of damage to the Frigs and some to that in Neros. Uh, and Joe, the Punisher is taking some damage now. Punisher, though, by far the tankiest tech one frigate. Yeah, and already five support ships down for end of life. They've lost a uh, pair of Herons, a uh, pair of Molluses, and a Daredevil already under that sentry fire. It looks like now uh, all that Dominic's DPS being sent onto the logistics for end of life. Yes, and it's really only a matter of time. Um, he's going to uh, evade some of the damage, but not really enough. We are seeing yeah. the uh, Kronos for end of life is sitting on top of the sentries and smart bombing. Yeah, but again, like I said earlier, I think this is really not what you want to be doing. Like, Kronos yeah. is your biggest investment on your whole team, and he's sitting there w spending quite a few cycles, actually, to kill that group of sentry drones. Once that group dies, they just drop another one that's probably 70k yeah. away from the first. And they're also, it looks like, shooting at the sentries with their own bouncers. So they're just trying to clear off all the sentries for uh, Hydra. Um, the, the only way that works is like if you in get the, all yeah, of them. Yeah, in the super long term, if you kill all the sentry drones that Hydra can even bring to the match, they have no damage. And you know what? That works if you can keep your logistics alive. Um, however, they haven't. <laughs> That's true. Onero's yeah. down. And to be honest, I don't know if a 10-minute match is enough to do that. The amount of time it would take to clear off, at least if you're doing it this way. With just one ship. If you had a bunch of smart bombing ships, yeah. you could maybe do Or one like dedicated smart bombing foon, just like yeah. disco foon. Just run around and it like, only take two too. cycles or something to kill a group, and then you could go to the next. Yeah. I, I don't think it's going to happen. But I want to see someone bring a micro jump, a dual prop, dis dedicated disco foon. For you could even uh, MJD might come in handy too. Yeah, like MJD and micro warp drive. Oh yeah, dual prop. Yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, then just like do a perfect blink right onto the drone blob, kill it, then go to the next yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It probably won't work. Strategy of the future. You can see how this guy ran winning stylish. alliance tournament teams with strategies yeah. like you that. You know what we need? ECM battle burst, battle balling ECM burst, uh, FOS scorpions. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Vexor Navy issue down for end of life. Uh, they don't have a whole lot of ships left. The Kronos is probably tackled, scrammed, yeah, by that Punisher. Yeah, he's not, not going to be going anywhere. Range. He's stuck where the sentries used to be. Yeah. Which isn't a very useful place to be anymore. No, because there's new sentries out now, wherever the Dominixes have gone yeah, since they, they dropped that first drop set. Yeah, they just went and dropped their curators. No, they're not going to do as much damage. They, they only had the one round of uh, guards. Guards. But curators are still playing. Yeah, and now if, even if he gets to another group of sentries, it'll be even smaller. It'll be only one ship's worth because they've all yep. spread out so much. Uh, just not a fun place to be. Another Vexor going down for end of life, leaving only three ships. So we've seen both Hydra and Exodus now uh, repeat their setups mm -hmm. twice. First two days, um, I think for both teams, it's a smart move. Yeah, like I, I said agree before with, what you with said Exodus. Um, the, what they're doing is they're not showing off anything. They're right. showing off a setup that they expect other teams to also be using. That people are going to ban out and work to counter no matter what they do. Right. And so they're giving teams effectively no intel on them right. for this whole first week. And that whole week practice in between, it's really, really strong. Yeah, and uh, you know, like you say, it it usually would be giving be giving up information to show mm -hmm. a strong setup like this early. Showing it, using it twice gives up less. But because of banning, this is almost like not showing anything at all because it's so likely that Dominix's won't be an option later in the tournament that using them now has virtually no cost. Yeah, so. use them while you can. 
get the, uh, the relatively simple wins. Um, if you came up against some either good counter to it, which it looks like obviously End of Life had thought about how to counter it. Yeah. Um, this is one of the things that kind of will come to mind when you think about how to counter it. Didn't do the trick in this case. Yeah. Might have done the trick against less experienced uh, team using Dommies, but sure. obviously not what they needed here. As we see uh, the Kronos of General Valkot uh, dropping through structure. And a little note for any of you joining us uh, who are not familiar with the Alliance Tournament, I know a lot of you are, but this is all happening on our live server. All of these assets count, and we brush off like a setup like End yes, of Life. It's like, oh, you know, nice try, but they're losing, you know, several billion billionth worth of assets. Mm -hmm. It definitely hurts, and uh, it's really cool that all this is tied to our actual in-game Although for wormholers, economy. they probably just found this setup in their, like, other coat. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. They just roll around in money, <laughs> losing faction fit Kronoses all day. So... Not it's a good life. For them. Yep. Anyway, damnation going down now. Uh, will be dropping fast. Yeah, dead. Probably in doesn't no have uh, hardeners be able to run right now. Lots so of nudes. He is there dead. He is. Hydra reloaded. Pretty strong victory for them. The second of the week, and mm -hmm. we'll see them continuing in the winners bracket next weekend. And we'll be back in just a few minutes with no holds barred versus RVB, which ought to be good.